Another really nice feature of Typhoon is the ability to inject data from a plist. So instead of having to, if you need, for example, uh, uh, an API key or a database name or something that you would typically configure in a plist inside of a class that needs it, instead of having to write the code to go read the plist and access the property, you can do all of this in Typhoon. In the application, I have two such examples. So in the module, I have a configuration plist that contains, I showed that I, I have some data, uh, for example, an API key, um, a global endpoint, a region. This is just data that is needed in some of my classes in the application, content registrations. I'm not gonna go into details about what these are at this moment, but there's a configuration plist for the application module, and then there's also one in Data Dragon, specific to Data Dragon. So I store data in a SQLite database, and I encode the name here in a plist in a property called database.name, and the name of it is it's a data type string, Data Dragon.sqlite 3, and then the version of the database that I'm using is 1. Um, so let's see how I use that in my application assemblies. If we look, the perfect example probably is in Data Dragon in the assembly. Um, so here's an example right here. I have a Data Dragon SQLite Open Helper, and this is a class in Data Dragon that I use to open and create my database. So if it doesn't exist, it creates it, all the tables, all the columns, etc. And it uses the version to determine whether or not it needs to upgrade or downgrade the database. Because as I release new versions of the application, I may make changes to the database. And so these properties are defined in a configuration and the way you reference that in Typhoon typically is you create a property or a method here, which is a config definition with name and you reference the plist. So here the Data Dragon has a plist called Data Dragon Configuration plist. And then I use properties from that plist right here. So when I create a new SQLite open helper, I access the database.name property and I inject that as a dependency to the to the instance of this class and I also need the database version which I inject as well. Down here I believe I have another usage where I'm accessing properties in my um, application configuration plist um, global.endpoint, API key, lol region, and the API version and these data elements from the plist are injected into this instance of this class and the class itself doesn't have to worry about how to get those it just is provided them by typhoon so what happens here is when you declare a config reference to a plist like here typhoon will load and parse that uh, when it processes the assembly. So as I mentioned, I have two plists referenced, one here and one in the application assembly. And Typhoon will load both of those um, at launch time and put all of those properties in a name in, in an area where they can be accessed anywhere. That's why here the the syntax that I use is simply Typhoon config and it looks anywhere in any plist that I've referenced and loaded for a property called database name. This one happens to be in, in uh, the Data Dragon plist, but down here I reference properties in my application configuration plist global.endpoint. So I use the exact same syntax. Once I declare and define them and they're loaded, it doesn't matter. I can reference them from anywhere just by their name.